I'm excited that we are releasing an album of psalms. The psalms are absolutely at the heart of our choir's musical personality. The words themselves were written, completed some two and a half thousand years ago, originally in Hebrew, of course, uh, but we sing them in the beautifully poetic English translation by Miles Coverdale, completed in 1535, part of a golden age for the English language. Um, one thinks also of the King James Bible or Shakespeare, for example. The people who wrote the Psalms found themselves in a very wide variety of states of mind, perhaps fragile or full of joy, nervous or full of triumph, um, sorrowful, angry. Whatever it is, we, we find that, in fact, you know, these are the same moods as we experience today at different times, um, two and a half thousand years later. So it's, it's as though there's an empathy across the ages. And I think there's something rather comforting about knowing that other people have been feeling the same way that, that we are now all that time ago. In cathedrals and chapels, we sing psalms every day as part of Evensong. Psalms are a particularly important feature for the choir of St John's. I remember when I was organ scholar back towards the end of George Guest's time in charge of the choir, the Psalms were always one of my very favourite things with, with his choir. And I still greatly treasure the LP which he recorded in the 1970s, Psalms of Consolation and Hope. And I hope that anybody listening to that album and also listening to ours recorded nearly half a century later will hear a continuity of style, means of expression and sound world. The architecture and acoustic of our chapel at St John's are perfectly suited to psalm singing. There can be an intimate and personal dialogue between singers and listeners. The psalms can take us out of ourselves. They can transport us to another realm, away from the pressures of daily life. They can be entrancing and healing. Psalm singing is one of the most subtle forms of choral singing. At St John's we are fortunate to have generous rehearsal time enabling us to develop a musical empathy between the singers and to consider the many nuances of the text and its delivery. The tradition of singing Anglican chant is a powerful combination of textual poetry and musical poetry. The meditative and reflective psalms on this album are complemented by more dramatic psalms uh, like number two, which is set here to music by my great predecessor and teacher, Christopher Robinson. In the booklet for our album, our chaplain, Andrew Hammond, has written an introduction to the texts and an individual commentary on each of the psalms we sing. John Challenger of Salisbury Cathedral has written about the composers of the psalm chants. And I have written a more general piece about my own philosophy of psalm singing and about the relevance of psalms today. I hope you will find these writings 
uh, deepen your listening experience. The St John's Choir and I have a great passion for psalm singing. We're very pleased to be able to share this album with you and I hope it will give you both nourishment and enjoyment. <laughs>